Yeah. Astounding. Astounding. <laughs> and then to learn about it from the internet. I never thought you'd be engaged. Right, Craig. And not to tell my own friends. Right. <laughs> Girl, you're going to wear a long train? I thing? shall wear a crown. Girl, I feel like Vesta Williams' congratulations is in order. Well, I mean, <laughs> when they give us a date, we'll, we'll adhere to it. Yeah. We're waiting on the date. But until then, we, our registry is open. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the things ready. Now, I don't know who you people are that went out there and bought that uh, memoir that Kim Porter supposedly released. Girl Poet. That was supposedly released for her. Girl, that was like 59 pages. That ain't even no book. That's a pamphlet. <laughs> now, you talk about Brandy being the... Oh, I was just... See? I, 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 we here. You see? You talking about Brandy being the vocal pamphlet. This was a pamphlet. That wasn't even no book. So, boy, Craig... It was the to be bestseller on Amazon. Because everybody is vying for, for the... They want the tea. They dying. And, but my thing is, I knew... Listen, if you ordered that book, you need to cancel it. Or read it. And then send it back. Get your money back. First of all, they're saying I'll be sure it's supposedly, and I don't know how he's um in a position to be um doing a cease and desist and trying to bring forth a lawsuit, but he's apparently trying to sue whoever wrote this book. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tell me tell us about it, Craig. I, I'm not a well, supposedly it's like pieces of journal entries that she wrote. In fact, let me find. That's a little water. Okay. <laughs> a little city punch. You know, y'all, I'm I'm still inebriated from last night. Oh, I can see it. Can you? I can see it in your eyes. Yes. Yeah. Well, we I was on the phone last night. Eyes. You didn't even know how inebriated I was. Oh, for real? That's why we was laughing so hard about the things we were talking about. Oh, I was about. dying. I was we dying. Was, we was up to about three. What was it? About, about two, two, three o'clock. Two or three o'clock yeah. this morning. Talking about the wedding. Mm-hmm. And the, and the thing, even though what we were talking about, I still felt some sort of way, but I was it's still, all right, Mo. I'm I told happy you. for you. you that's know, good. I and, but I, that's why I had to put us all on a three way. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kim Porter used to be a part of this group. Um, it was like these three girls, they were called three brown girls. And it says, um, I'm told that Kim Porter ne never authorized a manuscript, and any claims suggesting otherwise are entirely false and fabricated. The baseless pages in the book not only misrepresent Miss Porter's lived experience and legacy, but also continue to cause unnecessary distress to her loved ones. Can't be no more than what Puffy is causing. Because mm. from what I understand, the twin girls, they're now staying with a family friend, somebody's mama or something. They say he ain't even in jail eating, girl. Girl, they say he's on a suicide watch. Nah, nah, nah. Now, I don't believe he's on a suicide watch, but I do believe he's not eating because, honey, what from according to all sources, mm -hmm. there is a tape with someone on there bigger than than everybody on there. Mm -hmm. Who do you think it is? You think it's Clive Davis? Pull that cut, pull that video up, please, of of, of Miss Clive. You know, because she's a faggy too. Yeah, she, she wrote is. about it in her memoir. Do you oh, think really? that it's a tape? Do you think it's a tape of, of Clyde Davis getting plowed over at the party? Well, you know, them white queens do love baby, some black dick. Baby, they will get it a party and handle. They will get it a party and handle. I almost had to tell one about, you know, flirting with my fiance. <laughs> 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 Girl, ah, yeah. Just because everybody ain't loud with what they do, watch how you move. Because mm -hmm. I'm always watching. I'm always watching. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Let's run this little clip of uh, that's this. not your BBC. <laughs> that's not your BBC. Stay out of this way. That's not, it's, you can't have that BBC right there, girl. And Mo, you know I be I activate some stuff like I do <laughs> all the time. It's not your BBC. <laughs> Go ahead, play the tape. A lot of people are curious about the status of P Diddy. Status of what? Uh, P Diddy. Diddy. Puppy. The status of puppy. What do you make of that situation? No comment from Clive Davis on P. Diddy. Mr. Davis, you were a major influence on the career of P. Diddy. Have you spoken to him what? since the federal raid? Yes. Have you spoken to Sean Combs? Any comment, Mr. Davis? 
Any comments about Diddy? He credits you as one of his mentors. You want to go first or me? I mean, that's exactly how I move. No, you move a little faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like he was they, he was moving like a sloth. I'm sorry, if they were in his face, answer those questions. Bitch, he... it took him three minutes to sit down in that car. He said, <laughs> "Well, it was given very much so grandeur of honey. I'm the coin one here, baby." And you saw, you saw, you saw his, you saw his, his little, dog jump on his lap. Not only his dog, you know, he had, he had some groupies following him too. Yeah, he conveniently saw... demented, <laughs> convenient <laughs> Alzheimer's. He, who, who, he didn't know who the fuck they was talking about. Oh, uh, now all of a sudden you don't know who we talking about. No, it was when he he said Puff Daddy. He was like, oh, oh let me not answer this. Yeah, let me not answer this. <laughs> Clive, don't play. Clive said, mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Yeah, I, I'm done with them niggas. When they when they do the wrong thing, I don't I don't fuck with them. I, I take them out though. <laughs> don't let them get in the tub. Look, uh, toaster. <laughs> don't, don't let them get in the tub. <laughs> How many pills did Phyllis have to take? Don't do it. Cause y'all don't know if y'all know this, but she and Clive were arch enemies. Mm. Cause he wanted. Phyllis to have the career that Did Whitney had. Did you get had. that thing I sent you when they said Whitney had said that? Uh, I saw it. We, it's music in it, isn't it? No, it's an interview when they said that Whitney had, Whitney had met um, Let me pull up on Phyllis and Phyllis said... Uh, Was that uh, the Twitter? She said, are you the one? Are you the one? And Whitney said, yes. I am the one. Yes. Clive wanted Phyllis to have the career that Whitney had because he found mm. Phyllis first. Yeah. But Phyllis well, wanted. He, well, he was also with Angela Bofield at the oh, time. Oh, absolutely. You know, and then he found Phyllis, and then mm -hmm. I, is that it? The, no, yeah, it that's is. it right there. Issues I had with Whitney Houston was about Phil Simon. I went to one of Whitney's birthday parties. Whitney mentioned to me when they were both signed to Arista that there was some kind of big party for the Arista artist. Phyllis was there, and you know, Whitney was like young artist. Meantime, and she said, you know, somebody brought me and they escorted me in and I'm doing my thing. Say hello to people. In Girl, don't start this buff because this is the tea. <laughs> Girl, don't you start that buffering. Girl, let me make sure we on the right. Right. Somebody said, who is Phyllis? Girl, Phyllis Hyman. Girl, these children are young, Myrtle. What? You can't expect these children. These children is young. I'm young, too. You still in that delusion? Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, somebody brought her over to meet Phyllis. And she just goes, she's just, you know, excited to meet her. But she said, Phyllis looked her up and down, like, <laughs> she looked her up and down. And she said, Phyllis got off the stool and walked around her to just walk around her and look her up and down. And then she sat, this is what Whitney told me. And she said, she sat down back in the foot. She said, so you're the one. Uh -huh. And then Whitney said, and Whitney looked her back in the eye, and Whitney was very, when I worked with Whitney, that's one thing I remember, she would always look you directly in the eye, she had a very firm handshake too, that Whitney looked at Phyllis and she said, mm -hmm, yes, I'm the one. Bitch! <laughs> then, right now. then Whitney. Bitch. That's right. That's right. Whitney said she came, they say she came in a very, like, you know, very well so, and Phyllis gave her that look and got up and walked around and looked her up and down. And Phyllis said, "Are you? So, oh, so you're the one. Mm -hmm. You're the one." Mm -hmm. And Whitney said, "Yes, yeah, I am I'm the, one. the one." But because we we talk about this incessantly, yeah. <laughs> how after Whitney Houston stepped on the scene, the girls had to get them. They had to park on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. No parking. When baby. Mama stepped on the scene, all the other girls had to have to take a seat, have a seat permanently. <laughs> have a seat, honey. <laughs> there's, there's a there's a cold folding chair right there for you. Have a seat, honey. Sit down. Yeah. Yes, I'm the one. <laughs> Sit down, Miss Two. I'm the one. Sit down, Miss Two. <laughs> I am the one. Yes, indeed. But Clive and Phyllis had they bumped heads a lot because he wanted he wanted her to be poppy. And, she, and Phyllis wanted to do soul music, and she wanted to do she wanted to do theater and all that other stuff. And Clive thought that that was too that was beneath her. 
he didn't want her to do, he didn't really want her to cater to like a black audience. Oh, ah. and so long story short, some have said that that was part of. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm just gearing it up. Right. <laughs> Girl, get out of here with all this shit. Right. Some have said that's part of the reason why she committed suicide. Yeah. Why she, why Phyllis committed suicide because her career just didn't her career stalled. Sometimes when they be saying these people did su suicide, I be thinking. Uh, but she did have mental illness too. Yeah. I mean, but sometimes they, I still be thinking it was it don't be suicide. Sometimes I be like thinking, Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Right. Yeah, they're saying that Phyllis committed suicide, mm. but. She had a show at the Apollo and um, she didn't show up. And then they went and found her. She was dead. And they were like pills. Oh, they were like um, prescription drugs. But from what I've always heard, he made Clive made it very difficult for her. Like he blackballed her is what they said. Oh, wow. I wouldn't put it past. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Diddy, Diddy was doing the same thing. The one. I don't give a quit and I don't want to get caught in it. You didn't want it. Well, we don't have time for the full story. Snow, Snow, uh, whatever your screen name is. But also, I think it is fair to say that Phyllis was also um, on drugs, too. She had a drug addiction. She was a big woman. You mean in size? Yes. She was a big woman. I seen her talking about that. She was a, how she was a she was a big woman. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of factors played, you know, especially in the way that people treat larger women. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the way men. <clears throat> you have a little uh, Phyllis over there in your jukebox? Nothing that we can play. Do, do, do. If you guys have been coming back for the comments and they've been disappeared, we had to cut some things out. And so that takes away the live comments after we do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's true. So yeah. sorry about yeah. that, y'all. Yeah, so that's why we, we, we be want to play. I don't know why they be doing all that stuff. Over. Like, girl, let us play. We not, girl. Right. They say give Jasmine Sullivan a Phyllis Hyman biopic. Oh, I, I can see that. They would really have to vocal produce um, Jasmine, though. Because Jasmine has a, a lot of natural vibrato mm -hmm. in her voice, and Phyllis didn't have all of that. Um, Is it you getting married, Greg? No. What, what Phyllis had? <laughs> no, Phyllis was a great singer. Excuse me. What I'm saying is, like when 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 Jasmine sings, it automatically has that vibrato in it. Mm. It's not like a straight. It was a lot of depressing song that she had. Mm -hmm. She did. She did have a lot of, yeah. It was a lot of depressing songs like Meet Me on the Moon. Now you know how to love me was my shit. You know how to love me. Meet me on the moon soon as you can. What was that? I was living all alone. Yeah. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, old friend. Uh, and uh, that was so sad. That and um, living all alone uh -huh. and uh. To rest is a hard thing to come by these days. Yes. You build me up to, to break, break me down. down, got me spinning around. Seems like I'm always going through changes, living in confusion. 
Living in confusion. 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 It was a lot. So it, 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 yeah. her music displayed a lot of pain. Yeah. Yeah. It was very dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, and here's the thing. Now watch this. I love Jasmine Sullivan. Mm -hmm. I'm a Jasmine Sullivan fan. <clears throat> if you think about Jasmine's early works, especially like her first two albums, her shit was dark. Yeah. It was bangers, but it was dark. When you listen to those lyrics and think about how old Jasmine was when she was putting those first two albums out, I remember I having a conversation with a friend of mine. Yeah. 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 It was like I had a conversation with a friend of mine years ago, and it was just like, girl, girl I don't remember that thing pretty. It is. Um, it, it was like she was so young and singing about such heavy things. And it was like, damn, she's so young to be going through so much. Like, how how is it that she's going through so much? But I love Jasmine's music. I bust the windows out your car. Yes, indeed. Girl, what did them blow up over there in Kanye's? Girl, a massive fire at Bio Lab in Kanye's Georgia has caused a large plume of smoke to billow into the sky. Authorities have closed off I-20 and residents have been advised to evacuate the area. I was wondering why on my way here they, they just shut off the whole interstate. Is that why you were late? No, I was spending time with my dad. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go tell Mr. Mr. Jolliffe the news. About what? That I'm not pregnant anymore. <laughs> no, because you dumped me for I didn't dump else. you, Mo. You dumped me, man. We still together every day. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm still giving you your green card. <laughs> you just got to take my last name. Oh, really? Yes. That, I don't think it works like that, man. My new last it's name the other is way. Banner. My new last name is Banner. Mo Banner? No, you 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 got no. I have to take you have to yeah you have to take Banner. Really? Yeah, that's G's. Why name. can't I? Why can't why can't y'all take my name? G's name is Bruce Bruceton Banner. <laughs> Bruceton. Bruceton Banner. 